What's going on, Road Runners? It's your boy C Dub, aka Critwick, coming at you guys with a very, very sentimental and important message. Sit back, relax, and enjoy more from your boy C Dub, aka Critwick. Peace. What's up, y'all? So, since everything is kind of trying to open up again due to the COVID 19, I'm going to uh, go to a little bit of a different spot, like a little park or something, to uh, have this talk with you all. And I hope you guys can understand the, uh, the story that I'm about to share with you. This park is nothing fancy, but uh, it's somewhere different than my porch or my patio and uh, I just want to share something with you all that's been on my heart for a very very long time and uh, to include why I you know truly started crit with cycling and um, now that I know that I'm gonna be here in uh, California a little bit longer I feel like it's a uh, time to take a leap and uh, do some things that I have aspired to do. And I just want to, as always, bring you all along for the journey. All right, what's going on, Road Runner? So again, I'm here at one of the local parks uh, here in Chula Vista, California. And um, I wanna start and to have this sentimental and valuable uh, conversation with you all this morning, today. It is currently uh, just after it is 7:05 on the 22nd of May um, 2020 and I am ready to share this with you all and uh, I have mentioned and alluded to some of these things um, in my vision video in some of my plan videos um, and so this is more or less gonna be one of just one of those dialogue videos that I'm gonna have with you all um, I know the videos have been scarce you know, due to the COVID, it's not a lot of racing going on. I am on Swift. Uh, check me out, Critwit on YouTube. Um, but this video isn't about that. This video is about what has always been near and dear to my heart. And as you all know, with Critwit Cycling, it has been impacting communities and reshaping lives. And I'm ready to take that to the next level. Um, my vision has always been with crit with cycling is to you know get involved with youth uh get people that have never thought about cycling cycling and this is people of all colors all races all ethnicities all sexual preferences all sexual genders to put cycling out there um the best that i possibly can to build our niche to build our community and to just showcase the love that the community has and um, that we encourage others to have. And so uh, you all know that I'm a part of um, LaGrange uh, Cycling Club racing team, and I'm going to remain a part of that currently. Um, but I also was a member of Padjock Racing Team, and I'm also a active duty military member. And so being a part of team, being a part of something bigger than myself has always fueled me it has been a a uh i don't know if you know it's a quirk of mine like i love being a part of the team i love team i love people coming together for a greater purpose for a greater cause and of course during this time we see this all over the place people coming together to find a cure people coming together to help families put food on the table so forth and so on and so I'm always I'm, I'm I'm really appalled by how people can come together for the greater good, um, and it's just amazing. And so I really want to share some things with you all um, about you know the next step. So again, I'm not leaving Lagrange, um, but what I do want to do is I want to start, I guess you could say a tier two club or the next you know a lower level club. Um, cycling club that is 
And so it's been something that I've wanted to do for a very long time. And people have asked me, well, why aren't you doing it? You should start your own club. You should start your own team. And I just feel like I'm, you know, a newbie on the scene and that there's so much for me to learn. There's still so much for me to learn. And I'm ever looking forward to learning and to gaining more knowledge, especially in life, especially as being a cyclist. Um, and so I've wanted to start a club for a very long time and it was really hard. But at the time I had started, you know, you know, being known as Crit Wit. And so y'all seen it. I came out with a Crit Wit kit, the light blue one. And then shortly thereafter, I became a brand ambassador for Pedal Mafia. And uh, quickly thereafter, I had a Crit Wit cycling kit. And going into the next portion of this being you know following and support rec revelation i realized that a lot of people you know they saw me as an underdog and they saw me trying really hard and out there grinding and i've realized that in america if you don't have this long list of credentials if you don't if you haven't been in the game for 25 30 years and if you, you don't have the degrees or the, the certifications, the following is going to be kind of scarce. And the support is going to be kind of low level. And for me being a visionary and me wanting to make change and have impact and reshape lives, that was a little depressing. And it made me want to quit. It made me want to give up on you know, ICRL, again, uh, impacting communities and reshaping lives. It made me want to give up on crit with cycling. It made me want to stop cycling at times. And I never shared that with you all. But even though I did get support, and I thank each and every one of you for the support, I thank the 1,300, almost 1,400 subscribers for clicking the video and, and giving me your time as I'm, as, you're, as, I'm doing, as you're doing right now. I'm very appreciative for each and every one of you you know, you want something to grow faster than, you know, than, than what it is. You know, if you work out in the gym, you want your muscles to get bigger, quicker. And, and a lot of us in society today, we want things to grow at an accelerated speed. And we know that sometimes that, or not sometimes, but most of the time that causes a, uh, a unbalance and it causes major issues. But it's just how we are as human beings. And so... I wanted everybody's support and I wanted everybody to buy the kit and I wanted everybody to post that they had bought the kit and I wanted everybody to let me know that they were buying the kits and I was just very ambitious and very excited and I just wanted that impact and I wanted that reshape to happen yesterday and that's not what happened. This net will not leave me alone. <laughs> that's just not what happened. And so of course, it made me do some rethinking. It made me want to step back. It made me want to give up. But that's not me. I go back to the drawing board. I rethink things. I talk to my circle of friends. I listen to what they have to say. And I attack again. And that's what I'm doing today. And I ask that once you hear everything that I have to say, that you will support this movement all right so what is it this movement this club i've introduced to you today is called are you ready i'm ready are you ready this club is going to be called good stewards of cycling gsoc gsoc however you want to call it however you want to roll that off your tongue GSOC it is, GSOC it is, Good Stewards of Cycling it is. And the reason being is because I want to be a representative, I want to be an ambassador, I want to be a good role model and influencer to this world through cycling. And that's cycling of all kinds, whether you know, you're paraplegic, whether you are on a mountain bike, whether you're on a stationary bike, it doesn't matter to me. I just want you to be a good, active and good role model and, uh, and an amb a life ambassador. You have experiences that I don't have. I have experiences that you don't have. 
And together we can be life ambassadors. Together we can be active role models. And hopefully, together we are cyclists. So again, I want to share that with you all because GSOC will be a Strava group. GSOC will have a Facebook page that you can come on and you can ask questions about gearing and ask questions about bike fit. You can ask these questions and the collective uh, group of us will come together and we will take care of each other and we will encourage and invite other people to join GSOC and we will bring other people to be good stewards of cycling and we will do this and we will grow this thing together. This is a lower tier club. It's not something to where we're going to be, you know, paying for race fees and doing these things yet. But I was encouraged to watch a TV show that I used to watch called Chef's Table. And sometimes people need to be pushed. As Steve Harvey said, sometimes you just got to jump. And so that's what your boy C Dub is doing. I'm still going to keep the YouTube channel called Critwit Cycling. I'm still going to keep my Instagram page called Critwit. I'm still going to have my Facebook page called Critwit Cycling. But this is the group that I believe I've longed to start. GSOC it is. Good stewards of cycling. And I want to share that with you all today. It's going to be a leap of faith. Everything is in the works right now. I'm working on designing a logo, as I will share with you right here, really briefly. I'm working on some different logos. Uh oh. I'm working on some different logos. So if you are a, a, a logo designer and you want to help me come up with a logo or help design my logo officially, please let me know down in the comment section below. I do a little bit of doodling, as you see. Um, and so my mind is already going and churning about this. It's a burden that I bear, but I'm more than willing to share the low with the, with the family. And so I just want you to know that as of today, as this video is hitting your eyeballs right now, GSOC is live. GSOC is well. And we're going to go to the next level. And so what I would like to, of course, do with GSOC eventually is get kids involved and, 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 and do some mentoring. All the things that I wanted to do with Crit with Cycling, I just felt that the support was a little, you know, like we're going to be lifting up this guy. And I never really wanted that. I never wanted, I love the support. I love the family. But to have individual um, uplifting, I didn't want that. And I appreciate that. And I thank you for that. But I always said that Crit with Cycling was bigger than me. And now I think by changing this name and, 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 and it can embody more people, GSOC is for everybody. Good stewards of cycling. I got to say it multiple times so I can get it deep down inside of me. I got to say it many times so I can get it deep down inside of you. Because I want you to be a part of this family with me. This is very near and dear to my heart. And I am so excited to take this leap. And I'm looking forward to flying. GSOC's mission statement is this. To actively be good role models and life ambassadors impacting the world through cycling of all forms. That is the mission statement of GSOC. GSOC will also have hashtags. You got, you know, with the social media game, you gotta hit these widgets. And of course, with Critwit and with Critwit Cycling, I've been dealing and dabbing in social media a lot. I've helped my previous uh, uh, race team build up their social media Instagram page. And I'm, you know, happy to say that I was able to help that. Again, we all bear the burden together. So, two hashtags initially. The first one is hashtag GSOC. Hashtag G-S-O-C. And then the second hashtag is hashtag good stewards of cycling. And both of them are at the bottom of the screen or somewhere on the screen today. 
So if you are previewing this video, I ask that you would hit that like button. I ask that you would leave a comment down below. I ask that you would share this video, as this video will also be on the GSOC. Already got haters. Already got haters. I think we have wolves out here. Check this out. I think that's what the uh, birds are alarming. There's a couple of whoops out here, or foxes. So anyway, so the first hashtag is GSOC. The second hashtag is good stewards of cycling. And I wanna also let it be known that my brothers are helping me. You know, the two other horsemen are helping me. This is not a horseman movement. This is not the, the group that the horsemen are starting. This is my baby, but because my brothers are like, wait, you don't have to do this alone, and we're here to help you. I'm so excited to do this, and I'm so excited to have Garland Harris, the overnight cyclist, to help me out. I'm super excited to have <laughs> Alexander Garland, Al Too Smooth, the mountain biker, to help me out. And I'm looking forward to your comments. I'm looking forward to hearing what you have to say. I'm looking forward to it. Why? Because from this video and from your response is going to be our initial leaps and bounds of taking GSOC to the next level. Oh, yeah. I got to let you guys know about how to find these uh, GSOC on Strava as well as on Facebook. Some of you may already know, but some may not. So again, I don't want to take it for granted. I do want to make it as easy as possible for each and every one of you that are going to join the family. So as you see on the screen right here, you see Strava's up. So pretty much the best way to do is to come over to the uh, search window, click search, drop down, come to clubs, click clubs, and then in the box here, the next to search, go ahead and type in. And for you guys, I put in GSOC uh, colon, and then I put in Good Stewards of Cycling. So if you just type in GSOC, you'll find it. So G S O C, and then hit enter. I think it popped up there. And so as you see right here, it is the top one, not the Girl Scouts of Orange County, <laughs> but it is GSOC Good Stewards of Cycling. So as you see there, we got three members. It's a cycling club. So if you go ahead and click GSOC, open that up, and then this is just a little bit of the information that I have thrown in here just for starters. This is a journey, and uh, we have to start somewhere. So I've jumped, and we are flying. All right, so as you see right here, the three of us are in. So you got GSOC, Good Stewards of Cycling. This is the Facebook link to take you there. So this may actually be a quicker route to get you there. But if not, then I will just show you how to get to GSOC on Facebook. Um, again, and you can join. For Of course, mine's going to say a little bit different because I'm already a member. Um, but you'll see here, the three of us are in. Myself, Garland, and Alexander. We're all in here. So we're not... And we're going to get into that more. We're probably going to do some uh, monthly competition, see who has the most rods or whatever, just to do something very similar to uh, some different things that I've seen uh, across the land. But you see right now, we've got three members here, and I would love for you to become a member of GSOC. And uh, again, just our, our leaderboard. And uh, there's more coming. You can make club events, so forth and so on, all through Strava. And I am really excited to launch G Socks Strava page. All right, now over to Facebook. So that's how you find that. Now, if you go to Facebook, you got Facebook up, of course. And you just go on the top in the search engine and type in G S O C. And as you see there, it says G Sock Good Stewards of Cycling. Good Stewards of Cycling. Click that, it'll bring you to the page. And again, you see some things look very similar to the Strava page. And what I want you to do there is if you can, go ahead and click join. I'm really looking forward to you guys joining the family. Thank you guys for watching. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for clicking this video. I know it's not your typical Critwin video. 
Thank you for your time. Thank you for your ears. Hopefully I have your heart and your mind. Please look down in the description below and those will be there will be links for the uh, GSOC Strava page. There will be links for the GSOC Facebook page. And I ask that you will go there, click join, and let's build this thing together. Your boy, C Dub, aka Critwit of GSOC. On to the next one. Peace.